What was your favorite, favorite part about camp? I've been absolutely killing it. The hike was light work. It's much more rustic. Brendan fell asleep over there. He fell asleep watching the Orioles baseball game. But it's time that I get up now and go pick up Ryan. He's coming home from camp and I'm so excited to get him. I have to admit I am exhausted, but um, I'm going to pick up Ryan. Haven't seen him in a week. I cannot wait to see him. Come with me. I swear when Alice knows I'm gonna get up and leave, she just makes herself a little bit more comfortable and moves herself closer to my face. She's got up, spun around, laid back down again. Buddy, we gotta go. You stay right here. I'll be back, okay? I'm gonna bring Ryan back. Ooh, ooh. He's a little doggy. He was gonna bring him with him to camp, but I told him it probably wouldn't be a good idea because Ryan was camping in the woods the whole time. He was out in the woods sleeping in a hammock in a tree. Um, at least that's what the plan was. So I'm not sure he'll have to tell us because I think they had cabins, but they encouraged you to sort of sleep out in the woods with nature. I was like, mm, I don't think you should bring Doggy. So I took care of Doggy while Ryan was away. There he is right there. Yay. But everybody's finally coming back now. Thank goodness everybody's scattered. Mike um, is still in Maryland. Uh, Katie's still in Colorado, Colorado, but Ryan is coming back from camp, which is fantastic. I'm going to Maryland later on today, and then Mike and I are going to drive back down on Tuesday, and then Katie's going to come back from Colorado on Tuesday. So by Tuesday night, our whole D5 will be back together again for quite some time now because we're then going to go to the Outer Banks and vacation with my family. So I'm so excited for everybody to come back together, and I cannot wait to hear Ryan's stories. Last year, when Ryan went to camp for the first time, if you guys are new watchers, you did not see this. He was entering his junior year in high school, and we had just moved to Florida, I don't know, seven days prior. <laughs> so we moved down in the beginning of July, and then Ryan, he didn't know anybody, and of course he's going into high school. So he went to camp and met all these kids who we went to high school with and some from other high schools around. He came back and he had never been to camp before, um, a sleepaway camp ever. He, so he was nervous, but a little bit excited, but I think he was pretty nervous, but gosh, he took it like a champ. Anyway, he went to camp, he, they took away his phone and everything. So I had no idea how he was doing all week, just hoping he was enjoying it. Just sort of sent him on the bus and that was the end of it. He came back from camp like the happiest person in the whole wide world. He's like, mom, it was the best thing I've ever done. The best seven days of my life. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And those friends that he made there, of course, has made even more since then. But those friends have been his friends that he has been through thick and thin with um, this past year. So the camp last year was more of like a traditional summer camp. You stay in cabins and a whole bunch of kids go and slides and games and crafts and all that stuff. This one called Plunge, which is sort of like the next level up. It's much more rustic. Last year when he came home, I was so excited to hear from him and hoping that everything went well, that we stayed up all night talking. So he's very much looking forward to staying up. He texted me on the bus on the way home and said he's very much looking forward to staying up all night talking and filling me in on his whole week or six days or whatever it is so i cannot wait to see him so stay tuned we will see ryan in probably about 10 minutes
He behaved very yeah, well. He was so patient, but he was like, boy. he was a good boy. He was like, Ryan's Ryan coming home. Like, do we have a ride to come home? <laughs> yes, but he was a good sleeper and all that good stuff. Okay, here, put your stuff in here, and then you can unpack, and then we'll go home. Okay. Are you hungry? Because I'm starving. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. All right. All right, guys. I can't wait to hear all about it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan accidentally left his journal here, and one other thing, I feel like I can't remember your pen. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I don't feel like packing this all in my bag. Guess so. She just put it in the garbage bag. Call it a day. Oh, garbage bag. We're just gonna lug it in. Okay. Oh. We'll do that. It's good to have you back. Thank you. You guys, I've already heard some stories a little bit in the car, and we are just, I'm so excited to hear more. Oh, there's your brother. Should you go wake him up and say hi? He fell asleep on the couch. No, I think he went up. Oh, he went up. Oh, gosh. All right, left the TV on. Thanks, my guy. I remember Brennan. All right. Do you want to um, stay down here? I want to eat something, so let's sit in the kitchen. Yeah, let's sit. Alice Aww. is actually down on me. She just wants to climb on me <coughs> in the jungle gym. I think you're exactly right. I She's like, I, I didn't really miss you. I just need a shoulder right now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Well, hello, sweets. Do you miss your brother? Yes, you do. I know. You scratches. Good boy. A good girl. <laughs> You're a good boy too. Good boy. <laughs> Ryan is sharing the best stories about camp, like all the traditions, all the fun stuff that they're doing yeah. or that they did. I am highly jealous. I wish I could go to camp like <laughs> you went to camp. But he also is showing me they so they didn't have any technology there. Um, at all, and they weren't allowed to use their phones, but they were allowed to bring cameras. Mm -hmm. So his friend Riley brought a digital camera and then uploaded all the pictures on the way home. And there's some videos in there, so I would love to show you if you guys want to see some videos of Rye Guy while yeah. he was at camp. On uh, this is at least on Kitchen Duty. Now I haven't seen the rest of them, but right? Yeah, and, yeah. Is there they, anything they, more? Yeah. Did you move with the same group to the different? Um, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So there might be some video then in there as well for wood chopping, chopping wood and all that stuff. All right, so stay tuned, you guys. You don't know what you're gonna see. I don't know what we're gonna see yet, but um, we'll throw it in here for you. Stay tuned. Yeah. Solo Ryan. So amazing. Uh, there was a no nap policy, totally broke it. Me too. Just me too. exploring, just reading. Got bored. Singing? Oh my gosh, so much singing. I didn't know, I knew there was someone up there. Riley was up there just hearing me cough and sing the entire time. Yep. I got so bored that I just played the hands of Euchre to myself, which was so much fun. And then did some carving, made a gift. Right I don't know, here. I can't see it. For who knows who, it's Maddie. It's and um, yeah, it was a really great time. And then I woke up in the morning, and I just started throwing rocks. And I pretended I was Felix Batista, who's a closer on the Orioles, and I was like, All right. I don't know this tree. You're losing me. Boom. Anyway, it was great. Kind of it was a fantastic. Fantastic. It was pretty fantastic. Anyway. It's focused. Guys, you'll notice the jorts. You know, I don't want to brag. This is day yeah, no, three of the girls. Bro, make this into a club talk or a club skit. Make that <laughs> George man. Yeah. What made you happy today, Ryan? Ready? 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 Um, <laughs> is eating breakfast and hearing my friend Ty McGill and Abigail fight for stories. They were great. Guys, um, I basically found a plunge. I mean, I've been absolutely killing it. The hike was light work. The oh, hammock. No. Yeah. I'm really that guy. Outhouse doesn't, that doesn't care. I've made friends with all the spiders. Uh, all the Debbies love me, and I basically like. Those glasses are girl glasses. I'm Mr. Plunge. Oh, I haven't yeah. lost in the. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't lost in Mafia since I've been here. What? Oh, okay, sure. Um, and basically, oh, he's grumpy again. I'm grumpy. Yeah. Um. All right, this know, is getting really long. Let's wrap it up. Alright, so uh, anyway, we're hiking today. Surprise, surprise. Whoa! I don't really Peace. Like Last night of plunge, guys, how are you feeling?
Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna drop the book. I'm oh. Sure, sure. Alright. Ready. ready. So the the night is running down with the love and the happiness that we felt tonight was God's love. And that was I felt it before as shot top and with you guys, but this was I, a deep I felt it to an extent which I cannot describe. I didn't pour that much on you. I you can do wait. There's chaos out of it. You can do I didn't pour that much on you. You can do whatever you think will make you feel the happiest. You can have all the money in the world, the, you know, all of your desires, but nothing will ever compare to the love that and the happiness that God can give you, and I stand by that You're so short much, athletic, and I, I'm if you never forget short. that, then I'm wearing a lounge shirt. I don't know what else will make you keep following Christ. No, it's not. It's a t-shirt. I've never felt more. It's a t-shirt. Come on. Like, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. Yeah. But then in that room, singing with you guys, that was very cool. Yeah, that sense of And when dog cried for me. That was cool. I don't think Oh. Hope you guys enjoyed some of those videos from Ryan's camp. I will tell you, we so I picked him up at what? You came in around two fifteen. We came home and Ryan um, told me all his stories I just like we did last. Year. I and I love it. And he showed me pictures and I the, heard the whole thing. I just want to show you guys what time it is. It's almost quarter of six. It's five forty in the morning. Isn't that long we've been talking? But you know what? It's awesome. So, Rye Guy, what was your favorite, favorite part about camp? Wow, that's a loaded question. Yeah, it is. Um, oh, boy. This, How about just one thing that was your favorite thing? It's going to sound bad, but running down the mountain, leaving camp was so much fun. <laughs> not that I was being, not that I was happy to leave, but it was very fun. Um, just the whole symbolism yeah, of it. I, yeah, I will say we spent 24 hours by ourselves in the woods, and that was amazing oh amazing. my amazing. gosh you're um i uh you're my idol like that is all the things that you told me about camp like i'm so inspired by yeah. you yeah yeah you really had a great time and did good things and yeah, yeah became very close with all your campers as you can see you. razors were not permitted at camp oh look at that full beard look at that mm, come on oh yeah you see stash? Uh -huh. You basically have a goatee going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Um, are you happy to be home? Yeah, very. You are? If you had to choose between last year's camp and this year's camp, which did you like better? All right, nothing will ever beat the the funness. Last year's camp was so much fun. Fun, yeah. But in terms of spiritually and connecting, like, with your friends, like you're a family, this camp. This camp, okay. Excellent. Yeah. All right, what made you happy today, baby doll? Everything. Well, waking up this morning and getting to eat breakfast with my family and um, run down the mountain and um, take a warm shower for the first time in a while was really nice. Um, but going to Bucky's with everyone was just really fun. So. <laughs> and by family that you ate breakfast with, you mean your camp family? Correct. Right. People are going to be like, wait a minute, I thought you weren't there. No, we weren't there. We did not go. Excellent. All right, what made me happy to end? Ryan, Brendan is already in bed. Yeah, because I started this vlog after, yeah, holy cow. I started this vlog at 1, 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> what made me happy today was my baby boy coming home. Oh, my gosh, so wonderful. Oh, and Brendan and I did take a really nice bike ride today. That was fun. And we, and we had um, Panda Express for dinner. Sorry. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. And be sure to watch. We'll show you the other video if you want to see when Ryan came home from his other camp last summer. <laughs> we will put it right here. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Peace.